Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. It's Saturday, so it is grocery haul day. I have quite a large haul this week. As you know, I didn't pick up a lot last week following my massive monthly stock up haul, but we went through a lot of our staple things, butter, cheese, milk, that type of thing this week. So I actually had quite a bit to pick up. So I went to Kroger, which is Fred Meyer in my area and Trader Joe's. I have some new food finds, some seasonal food finds, it's gonna be a fantastic haul. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know that you enjoy these grocery hauls. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, I am literally this close to my goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I still have a couple of weeks, so if you're watching and you're not subscribed or you're new, welcome. Make sure that you do hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. You don't wanna miss a single video. It's Vlogmas, so I'm uploading every single day. Check out that description box down below for my nutrition coaching website. I do personalized macro and calorie calculation individualized to you to help you reach your goals and I also offer 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions this all makes a great gift as well for your loved ones or yourself so definitely check out my nutrition coaching website you'll find links discount codes to all of my favorite things again some of these are great gift ideas as well as the link to head over and join me on my Facebook group we'd love to have you and I have lots of good things up my sleeve for the new year so head on over and join us there so let's jump into this quite large WW Weekly Grocery Haul. So this is this week's huge grocery haul. Last week I hardly bought anything and now we're out of a lot of our staple items, lots of snack things. My husband's actually home this week on vacation, recovering from a medical procedure. So I had to make sure that there was food that was quick and easy for him to have this next week. So let's jump into this quite large grocery haul. Troy asked for waffles. These are really easy for him just to pop in the toaster, add a little bit of butter and syrup, and it makes a pretty good, easy breakfast for him. And this Kroger brand is actually pretty darn good. They are very comparable to the Ego brand. I did pick up some more seltzer water. I got the orange vanilla. I've never tried this. I've actually never tried the Polar brand, but it was on sale, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. And then down here, I have a 28 count box of variety of chips for Troy for his lunch and for snacks. And then I restocked my kombucha because they were on sale two for five. So I actually picked up three of the ginger berry. And then I picked up a passion berry bliss, a ginger aid, and a guava goddess. All of these are really good. You guys know how much I love my kombucha. And then for a recipe, which I'm really excited to share with you guys during Vlogmas, I needed some white baking chocolate. So I picked up the Ghirardelli. And then a restock on baking soda. I was completely out and it's the holidays, so it is baking time. For salad dressing, my husband wanted ranch, so I did grab the Bolt House just because it's lower calorie. I don't love that there's carrageenan in this, but it is lower calorie and it's really good. Quite a bit of cheese. I did pick up the regular light shredded blend from Trader Joe's. We are completely out of cheese. We literally have none besides Parmesan. So I picked that up and then I saw this. This was new. I had never seen this before. This is the Kerrygold Savory Cheddar Cheese Slices. So these look really good. And these were actually on sale and it is made from grass fed cows, which makes me happy. And then Troy wanted crackers, cheese and meat for a snack. So this sharp cheddar Swiss Colby Jack pepper Jack tray is a great deal. It's already pre-cut and ready to go. We were also completely out of lunch meat. So I chose the Applegate Naturals turkey breast and then just the Trader Joe's uncured black forest ham. I like to have this on hand. It's an easy snack. It's high protein. I literally can just grab a couple pieces for a snack and it satisfies me. And again, it gives me a good punch of protein. Two dozen of my very favorite eggs, the happy eggs. These were on sale for $3.99 a dozen, which is a really, really good deal. So I picked up two. And then for that same recipe, I actually need a white chocolate chips as well. So this is the private selection brand of white chocolate chip. This is Fred Meyer or Kroger's fancier store brand. I was out of parsley. So 
so I picked up a jar of parsley flakes. Quite a few canned goods. I need quite a few tomato products for recipes this next week. So this is the Simple Truth Organic Tomato Sauce and then a can of Simple Truth Organic No Salt Added Super Sweet Corn. And then there was a coupon for the Simple Truth beans. So I just picked these up just to stock my pantry. These are the tri bean blend. So there's actually kidney beans, pinto, and black beans. So this is nice if you need multiple types of beans in a recipe. You can just use the tri bean and they're all in one can. So that makes it really, really nice. Two cans of Campbell's Cream of Chicken Healthy Request and also down here a can of the Campbell's cream of mushroom healthy request soup that is for a dinner recipe sweetened condensed milk this is for a holiday recipe I have coming your way for vlogmas I actually have several fun holiday themed recipes I'm excited to share those with you and one of them calls for sweetened condensed milk I had a free Chobani Greek style coconut yogurt so I grabbed that and then I also decided to pick up some cottage cheese they did not have the full fat good culture but they had the the low fat and then this was a really good deal this is the simple truth organic this is low fat unfortunately not full fat but it is two percent this was on sale for 99 cents because it expires in a couple days but i will definitely eat it up before it expires wild rice for a dinner recipe i couldn't find any just plain wild rice so i had to get this original recipe one i looked on the back calories and everything were the same and again this was the only wild rice option and then tonight i am making barbacoa beef and we decided we wanted them on hard taco shells instead of soft so these are just yellow corn simple truth organic taco shells two different breads i did buy the bread i don't like the sara lee delightful 45 calorie only because i need this for breakfast meal prep and i had to make sure that i had a one smart point per slice bread so that's the only reason that i picked this up is for that recipe and then this buttermilk bread is for troy for sandwiches he wants blts this next week so i picked up a loaf of bread this is a new item at trader joe's these are the pistachio cranberry bites with roasted pistachios dried cranberries and agave syrup so these are individually little wrapped granola bars they're only four points they have pretty darn good ingredients i mean agave isn't the best sweetener but it's better than a lot of other ones so i did pick these up i thought this would be easy to just throw in my purse throw in the car for a quick healthy snack and they are only four points a piece which is not bad we needed a restock for Troy of the I Can't Believe It's Not Butter Light. Two different types of salami for cheese and crackers. This is the Old World Genoa salami. And then I also picked up the hard salami. Now these are pre-cut rounds, which just makes it really easy to add for cheese and crackers. I was completely out of tomato paste, so I picked up the Simple Truth Organic. One third less fat cream cheese. This is for a recipe. You guys are going to be so excited for the holiday recipe coming your way for Vlogmas. I can't wait to make it. And then some reduced sugar craisins also for that same recipe. I picked up two creamers because this one, the Chobani pumpkin spice was actually on clearance for $2. The Chobani coffee creamers are the best. They're my very, very favorite. And then I was so incredibly excited to find the peppermint mocha. I have not been able to find this and I heard that it is so good. I was literally so excited. I squealed at the grocery store. That's how excited I was. So I did pick both of those up just to have those two flavors on hand. This was only $2 and then this one was $2.99 with the coupon. So you can't pass that up at trader joe's i have heard that these are really good these are the non-dairy mint and chip bonbons these look incredible so i thought this would be a quick easy sweet treat for dessert they're only 70 calories a piece which is not bad at all and the points are not bad either and then I saw these at Kroger. These are the Siete brand, which you guys know I love their tortilla chips, their chips in general. They're just excellent ingredients. But these are cinnamon crisps made with coconut sugar. So this is their holiday flavor. And what is so amazing about these is look at these ingredients. I mean, they're literally perfection. So they're sweetened with the coconut sugar. Agave syrup, again, not the best, but not terrible. But look at those ingredients. I mean, literal, literal perfection. So I'm excited for these. Again, I thought these would be just a nice sweet treat i saw these and they just sounded really good it's been a long time since i bought them but these are the garden veggie wavy chips i still have that spinach artichoke parmesan dip that i love from la terrafina and i'm out of crackers so i was going to get good thins and then i saw these so i'll just use these to dip in to the dip 
And then I did pick up Ritz as well for Troy because he actually likes those for that same dip. Another thing I was so incredibly excited about is the Yasso Peppermint Crunch Greek Yogurt Bars. These are incredible. The sugar cookie ones are really good too. They didn't have those unfortunately or I would have picked those up as well. But I did grab two boxes because listen, they're that good and I did not want them to be gone the next time I went grocery shopping. Same with the Trader Joe's Hold the Cone Peppermint. These are so good too. They're mini, they're small, but they're really truly the perfect size sweet treat. They cure that chocolate, peppermint, and ice cream craving. These are so good. So again, these are something that sell out rather quickly. So I wanted to make sure that I picked those up. I did grab a little poinsettia at Trader Joe's. It's so cute. It was only $3.99. I want to set this in the center of my kitchen table. I generally get one every year. I just think that they are so cute. Some whole milk for a couple of recipes this week. If it calls for whole milk, I like to use it. It just definitely makes it a lot creamier. And then I also grabbed some... I also picked up some graham cracker crumbs for a recipe as well. Wait till you guys see what I'm doing for meal prep. I'm pretty darn excited about it. My very, very favorite shrimp is the private selection Argentine red shrimp. This is the best shrimp ever. It is so good. And I had a killer coupon for this. It made this whole bag less than $7. And again, it is the best. It says buttery lobster taste and texture. It absolutely is that. It is seriously incredible shrimp. So if you have a Kroger, definitely pick this up. There was a great deal on the frozen chicken breast. I generally prefer organic, but this whole bag, five pounds, was only $5.77. So I couldn't pass that up. I also needed tater tots for a recipe. So these are just the Orita golden tater tots. Some organic gold potatoes. I need these for a, actually a couple of recipes this next week. I've been using a lot of potatoes lately. So I went ahead and grabbed a three or a four pound bag. Everything else is zero points or produce. So I have some organic raspberries. Not a bad price at Trader Joe's. These are all out of season. So they're generally pretty expensive. But this was a killer price at Trader Joe's. So I picked that up. And then I needed some mixed berries for my breakfast prep i wanted organic they didn't have any so i did pick up the private selection just a bag of parsley for a couple of dinner recipes some celery recipes and snacking i've been liking celery with nut butter as a snack tomatoes for troy's blts bell peppers for a couple of recipes troy asked for cucumbers so they didn't have any regular so i just grabbed the english ahead of Iceberg lettuce for his BLT sandwiches, some cremini organic mushrooms, and then this was new. I'd never seen this before. This is actually a honey nut squash. Honey nut squash, organic. So I picked that up. You're supposed to just cut it in half and roast it. And the gal that checked me out at Trader Joe's says that they're really good. So if you're a squash lover, this is seasonal. So this was $1.49 at Trader Joe's. Forgot a couple of other items. I did grab a pack of the center cut bacon. This one's my favorite. You can have several slices for one smart point. So it's actually the lowest smart point center cut bacon. And then Troy wanted big, thick, juicy bacon for BLTs. This was on sale from $19 to $20. $12.99. It's three pounds of really thick cut bacon. That was an incredible deal as well. So that's everything, my friends. This was quite the haul, stocking up after last week. So now let's jump into my meal plan and my super exciting meal prep. So here's this week's menu plan. This is the week of December 5th through the 11th. You guys, we're like 20 days, 23 days from Christmas. It's crazy to me. So it's Saturday today. It is an out to dinner, support a local business day. Tomorrow I am making tater tot casserole. You guys will actually see this recipe in next week's What I Eat in a Day. So stay tuned for that. Monday, I'm going to make a spaghetti squash casserole. I actually got a spaghetti squash in my Imperfect Foods box. I need to use it up. And this sounds super good. Tuesday is always leftovers. I do jazzercise at 5.30 on Tuesdays. Wednesday is chicken wild rice soup. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty excited about this too. And then Thursday, I'm going to do meatloaf and potatoes. Just comfort food moving into the weekend. And Friday is always a leftover night just from the meals earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. You guys, I'm pretty darn excited about this week's meal prep. For breakfast, I'm making a mixed berry French toast bake. I've been wanting French toast and I thought, let's incorporate some fruit. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. Lunch is sausage, potatoes, and veggies. This is a sheet pan lunch or dinner. So it's very simple, very hearty. And then lastly, I'm making no bake peanut butter bars. Peanut butter is my best friend, so I am excited for that too. So you'll see all three of these recipes on Monday. 
Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you got some great food ideas, some new seasonal kind of sweet treats that are actually WW friendly. Those cranberry pistachio bars, those are going to be a great snack. So this was quite an exciting haul. I can't wait for my meals this next week and of course meal prep on Monday. You're not gonna wanna miss those three recipes. They're going to be amazing. So make sure if you enjoyed today's video that you give it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed or you're new again to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you take a moment and subscribe and of course turn on the bell next to it so you're notified when every video is uploaded because it's Vlogmas and you don't wanna miss a single one. Check out that description box again for my nutrition coaching, links and discount codes to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Happy Saturday, my friends. I hope that you're having a wonderful weekend and I will see you in tomorrow's video. It's going to be another fun one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.